Hi, it's Sarah. Good session today. Just going to run through a couple of things now in terms of the short game and how we're going to set up for these short shots. If we look on the right hand side, to me, you do look as though you're going to basically play a full shot. You've got kind of full width of stance, full length of club, ball position now is suddenly just left of centre. So a very good setup if you were trying to hit the golf ball as far as you can. The problem is when you're playing these short shots, we end up trying to reduce the power as we go back to the golf ball, sort of quitting on the golf ball, not really sort of following through and sort of just stabbing at the golf ball, not really having much control of where the ball's going to go. Yes, it might whiz across the green, you might hit the ground behind the ball, or sort of shoot off the side if you catch the hosel of the golf club. So the main change really now in terms of the setup, ball position you can see has moved back in the stance only because your right foot now has gone from where it started. On there, with sort of a, there would be kind of your full setup. We're going to bring that right foot in closer. And that's going to put that ball position now suddenly back of centre. So if we sort of drew a line straight down the middle of you there, you can see now the golf ball now is kind of back of that line. And that's going to help you get a much more kind of downward strike on the golf ball, clip that ball a bit more cleanly. And also by being in a smaller, less powerful setup, you're not going to create as much power with the shot. So when it comes to swinging the golf club now, we can just start judging how far back it's going to go to create power. And then we have a small little back. So we can give this club a fairly good whack there. And these are only going to sort of 20 or 30 yards. Just keeping that weight on that front foot, not trying to get underneath the golf ball. The loft of the club is going to do the work for you as long as the leading edge of that golf club gets back to the back of the golf ball. Okay, and we're going to try to see really at this position would be the hands to be a little bit further forward towards that left side. So just putting a little bit of sort of, we call shuffling forwards there at impact. A lot of time when people were playing the shots previously as you were with that wide setup, your hands almost behind the ball to start with. And then when you try to quit on the golf ball or slow things down, the body, the arms, the hands all kind of stop and the club then kind of comes through. So we're sort of swinging back from here. Now we get to about here. We already know we've probably got too much power. Everything stops about here. And the club then from there just sort of just fizzes through and you end up in an impact position with the hands too far back behind the golf ball. So shrink up that setup, bring those feet in a lot closer. It's going to have the effect of putting that ball back in the stance, push that left foot into the ground so to put more weight on that front side. And then from there, then so it's just a question of just judging the length of back swing to how far you want to go. If you want to go 10 yards, 20, 30, you decide what you want. But at least then you're creating the right amount of power and hitting it 100%, 100% as opposed to just sort of creating too much power and then trying to quit on the way down. So hope that makes sense. Any questions, obviously, give me a shout, but I'll catch up with you soon. Cheers, Sarah.